Hey y'all, Shalette here, and today I'm gonna talk about how I shot this dance music video using the Sony FX3. So I shot this video for my friend Isaiah, who is a very talented choreographer. We've shot multiple videos in the past, but this one is my favorite, honestly, and you'll see why, so let's get into my love. This shoot was pretty special for me because I had recently just switched over from Canon to Sony. Before this shoot, I was shooting on the C300 Mark III and the C70, which are great cameras, but they were honestly just slowing me down. They were too much to just brig and kind of bring around, even though I enjoyed the image. I just wanted something smaller, and that's why I decided to get the Sony FX3, which is super compact and doesn't compromise in any way when it comes to image quality and what it can do. Now that we're caught up, I walk onto the shoot and it honestly felt so good, but kind of weird pulling up to a shoot with just my backpack with literally everything that I needed when before I would bring maybe a Pelican or two and a lot more rigging and taking a lot more time to get set up. And it was really nice to just pop out my FX3, slap it on a Ronin and be ready to go. Let's talk about gear. I used the Sony FX3 with the DJI Ronin RS2. The lens I shot the entire thing on was the Sigma 24-70. And I put a Tiffin Black Pro Mist on it. And it was a 1 8 Pro Mist. And then I used the Mavic 2 drone. As for lighting, I didn't bring any lights actually. I just shot the whole thing using natural light. We shot in a really big warehouse with a ton of windows and opportunity for light to spill all over the set. So I just went with natural lighting. But not to say that I'm limited in any way by using natural light in this kind of space. There were some scenes where we used dancers and we put them like against a window or something and it created really dope silhouettes of them. And I think that was really powerful because it really emphasizes the shape that they make when they're doing certain moves and it added to the drama of the story. Other scenes, there were just a massive window on the roof and light was just spilling all over the place and it looked really good as well. Thankfully, I had shot at this space multiple times before, so I knew a good time to come to get certain shots and I had an idea of how the light would look in the space beforehand. So as the choreographer, Isaiah is obviously directing and leading the shoot with movement in mind in his world, but for me, my job is to enhance that with camera movement to really help create more impact for each scene that we shot. There's one scene which is probably one of my favorites where a dancer is dancing towards the camera in a straight line and they're doing twirls and they're spinning and they're just giving all this energy to the camera and then all these dancers behind them are kind of emerging and it was just a really beautiful image and very simple to get with this setup. So all I was doing was backing up slowly on the screen. I tapped the dancer on their face and the autofocus just kind of locked onto them. And despite them spinning or turning around, it just never lost focus. And we only needed to do the take like two times and we got it and moved on. Other movement shots that I had in mind in a space like this were very subtle slides to the left and to the right. The space is pretty big and we had a lot of dancers in there. So getting a really nice wide shot of everybody moving throughout the space really brought a lot of production value to this project and this space had a lot of like pillars so I was able to kind of like go behind the pillars and have them in the foreground as I slid to the left or to the right and I think it added a lot of depth to the scene and then other times I'm just kind of watching the dancers doing what they do and following their movements and kind of like enhancing the story they're already telling with their bodies. Isaiah is obviously choreographing the entire video from beginning to end, but we always do some shots where we just shoot a dancer freestyling and just doing their thing. And it's used for like B-roll of the video where it brings more energy um, towards the end of the song, which you'll see that being used in the actual video. Let's talk about the use of the drone in this video. A couple creative ways we use a drone for this shoot was by starting on a top-down shot with the drone as high as I could get it, directly above one of the dancers, and the dancer starts to look up at the drone, they take their hood off, and then I slowly just kind of climb, 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 really slowly, and then dancers start to emerge within the frame, and I think it turned out really nicely that just wouldn't be possible without like a crane or using a drone in this instance. Another time we used it to kind of point 
not straight down but more kind of like at an angle so we can get the whole space with the dancers doing their thing in the middle and this was pretty convenient for me actually when it comes to editing because i was able to frame myself out of the shot and shoot on the fx3 and the drone at the same time so i had the take that we needed from two angles another creative way we used the drone was for another overhead shot where the dances were spinning in a circle and because of the dresses that they were wearing it's super flowy and light and as they spun the dress kind of shot out to the side and it created a really cool effect from above to emphasize that i just kind of very slightly um, had the drone turn as well very slowly not as fast as they were going i just again i like i like subtlety in my shots that shot was only used for like maybe one to two seconds but i think it really added a lot to the energy of the song and just sliding in a shot like that in the end really uh, did a lot for the edit now let's talk about the actual editing process so beyond isaiah being a choreographer he truly is a visionary he sees the whole thing from beginning to end and as he choreographs this he knows exactly what shots he needs and exactly where the shots go in the video proper pre-production and shot listing is going to go far for anyone attempting to create anything on video and it really made the process simple for this reason. So after the shoot, I send all the footage for Isaiah to view online and he's able to pick file names and time codes and basically he just sends me a very defined list of the shots and exactly where to put them. So instead of going through a ton of footage over and over, I'm simply placing the footage that he has already gone through and putting them in the spot that they belong in. This is also helpful for me because I'm not a dancer at all. So there are imperfections that I may not notice that can't be on screen. Having him just kind of like take care of that, sending me a list really makes the editing process super simple for me. Color grading. So a big reason that I switched to the Sony FX3 is because I heard a lot about Phantom LUTs. And if you don't know what Phantom LUTs are now, you should definitely check them out. Phantom LUTs are great for people like me who are not professional colorists. Using these LUTs have been really solid for my workflow and have really changed a lot with how I feel about my work. Being able to finally approach the color portion of my workflow and feeling confident and excited when I look at my images is is so fulfilling again i still have so much to learn with color grading but being able to have something that quickly gets my images looking a way that i appreciate and i get excited for myself was a huge deal for me so before i end this video it wouldn't be right if i didn't give a huge shout out to isaiah he is again a visionary and you should definitely check out all the other videos that we have shot together i'm gonna leave his information in the description also if you want to see the full video i'm gonna leave that in the description as well thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you found this helpful or entertaining in any way definitely consider subscribing if you have any questions drop it in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them thank you again and i'll see you in the next video.